Let me show you some pictures. This is my friend Dino, and he is learning version for his dream diplomat. And this, my friend Jun, is doing cube just because he went. And these days he's writing paper about uh, cube and mathematics. And one of my best friend, Byung Chan, is learning Python these days, the computer program. And he's not really good at it, but he's really uh, enthusiastic. But you might think it's very cool and worth trying, but have you ever tried it? Have you ever tried new things so familiar? For me, I beloved hip hop since I was 12, and I especially liked rap and watching music videos of my favorite rappers. One day, while I was watching the video, I saw a man creating a beat with nothing but only him and the mic. And as I knew nothing about beatbox, it was so shocking for me. So, the feeling urged me to do uh, not only really listen to music, but also learn different parts of hip hop. And that's how I started to learn beatbox, just out of a tr plain curiosity and a sense of awe. At first, I didn't know what to do because the word beatbox was so vast. So uh, I just did it, while others just make an excuse that it would be difficult or uh, they would give up just because it is difficult. But I denied it to staying as a listener. I wanted to perform this music by myself. So I just entered to the site YouTube and searched how to beatbox. I practicing it every day and it took me about half an year to mastering it. To shortly explain it, there are three main skills in beatbox, kick, hi-hat, and snare. Kick is the sounds. It is similar to the sounds of the big drum on the drum set. To make these sounds, Think of the letter B, and without actually vocalizing it, just use the pressure in your mouth and protrude it out your cheeks and the lips like... <laughs> make sure you make your lips and mouth be tight as possible so that you can pop the sounds clear and powerful. Next skill is high. It is similar to the sounds of the two symbols in a drum set. To make these sounds, Think of the letter T and an S, then combine these two sounds together and protrude it out your mouth with your tongue like t -t -t. Yes, that's right. It is quite easy to follow and it is similar to the sounds, CH sounds. Close up your mouth right after you make T and an S sounds. Mixing these two sounds together you can make simple beats like this. Let me show you. And speed up. You can make something like this. And the last skill is snare. Think of the alphabet P and an F and make the sounds between them. Inherit the L on your thinly spreading mouth. And most of the people giving up doing beatbox because of these sounds. As you can expect, it needs quite a lot of time to learn. And this is something like uh, learning plus and minus in math and learning alphabet on English, the basic and the most important. Mixing these three skills, you can make four beats. A beat. 60 beats. You can learn further more, like robot sounds, screech, and vibration. And by changing and mixing these three skills, you can make something like this. And let me show you. Now, 
now, let me tell you another challenge of mine. You might not believe, but I was a very normal and diligent student in my middle school. I played hard and studied hard like my old friends. I sometimes those in class and was often tardy now and then. And that time I saw a movie, The Great Gatsby on TV by chance. And after watching the movie, all the thought in my head was that Gatsby is so cool. And from that time, uh, I started to think seriously about my hairstyle. It was just like everyone else, same tubal cut and an old straight bang. I thought I needed to get rid of my lame hair right now, the faster the better. At that time, I was only 15, and I was too shy to do Gatsby's hair all at once, so I just screwed my hair the next day. Naturally, I grew I showed my forehead to the world, which I never did and wouldn't. Gradually, my hair grew, and every month I went to the barber shop and trimmed my hair. And now, my hairstyle is like this. <laughs> and I know that my hairstyle was talked about a lot in our school, and I know that they are not compliments, but. If my hairstyle doesn't harm you, I think do whatever I want is better. And I like my hairstyle and I'm proud of it now. But that doesn't mean that I was always this confident. Frankly speaking, I fell into this period at the beginning of my first year. As I was always the best student in my previous school, I was embarrassed in my location here. All my friends seem to be so good at studying, like Junior. And it frustrated me because I was so sad. And after receiving my test score, I was so disappointed myself. And at the first semester, I got often discouraged and important. But I decided to change my thought. Why so serious? Why can't I just make it like others? I better done much harder things. So, I made my mind to deal with it face to face. I stopped comparing myself with my friends and, and I kept studying hard. And I literally decided to go on my own way. And this change has allowed me to have more patience and more confidence. And as time passed by, I could afford more changes and this TED speech is one of them. When I tried to do this TED speech, teacher, friends, and seniors all told me that it would be difficult, but I just did it because what I really wanted to do is share my story with you, and I'm standing here, right? What I want to share with you is this. My getting better on beatbox or doing this TED speech is not a major success or a big turning point in my life, but these challenges, these small steps are the energy for me to keep going on and not lose the balance in life. And I'm sure that these challenges and small steps are essential for our life. You see this elephant? This is very strong and robust, and it is one of the biggest mammals on earth. But I can surely say that this elephant will not be able to free itself from this tiny pillar. Yeah. This elephant was rolled to a tree when it was young. At that time, it was too weak to pull out the tree and free itself. But after it is tamed, it didn't even try to run away or free itself. So when it is grown enough like this, it just stays and rarely runs away. Isn't it miserable? Sorry to say, but you guys are the elephant. You guys are locking yourself while you can walk away. So I can say that you guys are tamed too. So I need, you need that energy to keep going on like me. Perhaps you made excuses like I don't have time or how dare I. 
you might feel afraid of trying new things, you might feel astray or naive, but nevertheless, we should not stop trying. There is no such thing like some other time. You have run out of time, you are running out of time now, and you will be still running out of time in the future. So, why don't you just try now? How long will you be waiting for? There's a word, if you succeed, you get one thing, but if you fail, you are getting everything. So, it is time to be bold and step out. So, why don't you give it a try? Why don't you just cut the rope just like me? Maybe, if I can, I bet you can. Then, rather than regret your craziness, just do it, without hesitation. I really want to say that you guys need to free yourself from the chain that locks you and don't you and pressure you. Get out of the stuffy desk and burn your passion for the big world. Thank you.